guys. Okay, so I'm gonna do a quick everyday kind of morning product routine, beauty routine that I do. I love products and I change them all the time, so this routine is ever changing. High end beauty products, and I also, you know, have my favorite drugstore find, so I'm kind of doing a mix of both. One of my favorite drugstore products is Senfil. I've been using it since I was a teenager, but I'll definitely do a video that is all more high end, and then maybe just all of my favorite drugstore finds also, because I think that's fun and important to mix it up. I'm not the like best at taking my makeup off the night before, so usually I'll start with like a little Burt's Bees wipe. Usually when I wake up though, it's like dripping down my face and. Got to put my microphone on. Okay, so my first step is the Burt's Bees wipes. Just get that excess um, mascara off from the night before. I'm gonna do one of my favorite toners, fresh brand kombucha toner that is like anti-pollution, anti-aging, and it really just gets my skin very clean and prepped. And it also makes it really kind of like nice and soft. I'm obsessed with skin. I just want my skin to be amazing always, so I really try to take care of my skin as much as I can. Gorge, oh, gorge. Next step, I'm going to mask because, you know, I have a little time this morning. Dixie's in school, Winston's napping, so this is mama's time to have a little masking. Eye masks, obviously. These are my favorite of the moment because they really help to depuff, and especially since I haven't been getting tons of sleep. The depuffing eye masks are major, so I'm just gonna let these marinate. And cut to like, it's been 20 minutes. <laughs> okay, gorgeous. You wanna know my routine? I'm gonna do another face mask because I live for face masks. I'll just literally sheet mask and face mask and do a thousand masks. I live for an eye patch. Nerve disaster. Big old head of hair. Caffeine. Beautiful. YOLO. <laughs> I mean, it's exceptionally terrifying. And honestly, the more the better, and your skin will just look better and better and better the more masks you do. <laughs> like, I will put on a purifying mask, and then a moisturizing mask, and then like a uh, resurfacing mask. Usually in my pore area, I'll do like more of a clay mask because that's where I get the most congested and I want to keep that area as clean as possible and draw out all those impurities, those mean impurities. And I don't like doing it on my whole face because then my face gets like super dry and I don't like that. So while that is pulling out all of those imperfections on my face, I will then get a moisturizing mask. Why not? While I'm waiting for the clay mask, and you can like mix and match your favorite mask. So I'm just gonna let both these marinate for about 10 minutes maybe. I usually like have the patience for about 10 minutes to mask. And then I'm on to the next mask. It's all right, so let's marinate. She's so funny, oh my god, so funny. You're gonna like, I know you're gonna not edit this. <laughs> it also smells heavenly. Oh my god, I forgot to mask my neck. <sighs> She's fired. So you should always mask your neck too because the neck is so sensitive. So I always try to treat my neck and my decollete. Decollete, is that the right word? Mm. Decolletage. Decolletage. Is it decolletage? Decolletage. decolletage. <laughs> All right, 20 minutes. 10 minutes. Okay, it's been about 10 minutes. I'm going to take off mask. One thing I'm notorious for is I'll take my mask off and I'll be just like I'm going about my day and you know I don't do it in like the most precise organized manner either and I'll be going about my day or I'll be going to a photo shoot and I'll go look in the mirror and I've like forgotten to get the masks off of like around my nose and it's just really embarrassing and I actually did a whole fashion show once with masks still like on my nose, like the whole fashion. I went through hair and makeup, everything, walked the runway, was like feeling major. And I had this, I have this fresh mask that has like actual citrus in it, like orange peels and stuff. And there was like a little orange peel. Next, well, I wouldn't really do this, but I think I just shared, I have a pimple. I guess this isn't my morning routine. I guess I would do this in the night, but I'm just gonna dab a little pimple cream on there and just maybe rub it in for the day so it can help dry it out. 
I'm going to use my vitamin C oil. I'm actually, I've never tried this one before because it just came out, it's Cora. Um, but I think vitamin C oil is really important. I have like a thousand ones that I love. So I'm just gonna try this one for the day. I'm sure it's gorgeous and amazing. Like all of her, oh my God, it smells so good. Okay. Um, Oh, my cover's still rolling. <laughs> okay, a lot of the stuff I'm using right now is Tata Harper, just because I really love it. And Cora also makes really nice organic skincare. Some gorgeous eye cream. I have this eye balm that I really like because, you know, I'm getting these lines. I love my lines, of course. They're gorge, but keep them soft and supple. I think that's the key to when you're getting wrinkles is to keep them as moisturized as possible so that your skin looks gorgeous and aged as we are, but it looks, you know, it looks softer. Yay! And then I'm gonna put some sunblock on, important step. And this is just my favorite drugstore sunblock, gorgeous. Lip balm, rose water spray, cause why not? And now I'm ready for either my gorgeous makeup application because it'll apply so much better or I can just go out in my day with no makeup. Yay! Don't forget to like and subscribe. Subscribe. Comment down below with your favorite skincare products. I'm always looking for new favorites and I would love to try them and do them for my next video.